Let's look at four possible reasons why the iPhone 13 doesn't offer 4K in the cinematic mode. The new cinematic mode is essentially portrait mode for video. The problem with video on any smartphone is that the sensors are really, really small and that results in extreme depth of field and everything's in focus. It looks very different from a high-end cameras they usually use for movies. So Apple is trying to fix this deficiency with the cinematic mode where they will blur out everything in the background or what's outside of the zone of interest. So one little detail they forgot to mention is that the cinematic mode will not be available in 4K. It will be only available in 1080p at 30 FPS. Hi, I'm Matei. Welcome to my channel where I focus on how to get best pictures from iPhones, Canon cameras, and Instax cameras. So possible reason number one, which is the one that I saw most commonly mentioned, is that the iPhone 13 doesn't have enough processing power to crunch the cinematic mode in 4K. It has only enough power to do it in 1080p. I would give this one about a 30% chance. I think it's pretty reasonable. It's probably really computation intensive to do this. Essentially what the phone is doing is doing portrait mode for 30 pictures every second. And to do this in the high resolution of 4K, it's probably really taxing. So one possible workaround for this, if they really wanted to cater to the pros, is to just capture the raw footage in 4K, also capture the depth map from uh, either the LiDAR sensor or the other cameras, and then store everything and then let us crunch the cinematic mode on our MacBooks or our powerful PCs. So the second possible reason is that Apple is completely ready to deliver 4K in the cinematic mode as well. They're just holding it off from the iPhone 13, so they have something extra to give us in the iPhone 14 or any subsequent models. I can already see Tim Cook saying, we delivered cinematic mode last year, people loved it, and now it's even more magical in 4K. Overall, I think the second reason is pretty unlikely. I would give it about 5% chance. The third reason, and in my opinion, by far the most likely, is that the cinematic mode in 1080p already has its issues with uh, edge detection and particularly around hair. And in 4K, it just does not look good at this moment. They need a lot more improvements over the years to make it really uh, look great. I think there will be already a lot of reviewers pointing out the issues with the cinematic mode in 1080p. And I think if the phone delivered it in 4K, all those issues would be a lot more obvious and they just don't want the bad press. If this is the case, I think Apple will get better with the edge detection over the years and I'm sure the 4K will be delivered at some point. So the fourth possible reason is I think not very likely, but super interesting. I found this possible explanation on Mac Rumors forums. So one of the big features of the cinematic mode that Apple marketed is that you can choose your point of focus after you recorded the footage. So, so in order to do so, the footage has to be sharp from the foreground all the way to the background. And then the iPhone um, computation is selects what's in focus and what's gonna be blurred. So in order to accomplish sharp footage from the foreground all the way to the background, you need to set the camera at a hyperfocal distance. So everything is sharp all the time. And the apparent depth of field is larger for small resolution files. So if you shoot in 1080p, you will get a lot, a lot more depth of field than if you shot in 4K. So in order to keep this feature, they can't do 4K because of the physical limitation of how the footage is shot. If this is true, I think it's pretty unfortunate because I would much rather select the zone of focus while I'm shooting and be able to shoot in 4K than have this extra kind of artificial feature to select the zone of focus after I shot my footage. I'll test this hypothesis as soon as I get my iPhone next week. So if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe.